What's up everybody? Today we are here at Hartwell Dam. Now, Hartwell Dam is what has created the reservoir, um, the Hartwell Lake, which technically is a reservoir. And uh, what we're gonna be observing down here is they generate energy each day at this dam. And so what happens is they open up the, um, not the floodgates, but there's another waterway that comes down into the turbines. It powers the turbines and then, or it starts the turbines and then the turbines uh, uh, create the energy. Um, one of the cool things about this is that I'm trying to get down here to where I can show you where we're going. Uh-oh. They're letting that water out. So I need to get down here real quick to show you. These are the rocks here. You can hear that horn going off. That means they're going to start releasing the water here in just a second. I wanted to walk out onto the rocks, which I probably can a little bit. But that water is going to come down here and it's going to start flooding this river here in a few minutes. And you can see the water rising. Uh, <laughs> you can see the water rising and within a few minutes or so, all of these rocks and everything here is going to be completely underwater. We were running a little bit late today. And so, I mean, we literally just got here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. But you can see the rocks like here. You can almost, you can't quite, but if you go out onto those rocks, it looks like you can actually walk all the way to the other side of the, of the river here. And the rocks go, or out there on the other side of this bridge, all the way down there. And uh, once that water starts coming, I mean, it's not a huge rush. It's not like this big like rush of water that comes, but Sorry about that horn. I wasn't, ex they're technically not supposed to be opening these gates for another 20 minutes. So I thought I had a little bit more time. Oh, there it goes. It turned off. All right, cool. So they sounded that warning sign. That horn just went off. You heard it just a second ago. And um, that's the warning sign to let everybody know that if you're on these rocks out here, get off of them, get back into safety because. <laughs> because this water is going to start coming out. And it's not a huge rush. You can see those uh, metal gates up at the top of the, the dam there. Those are the floodgates. They don't actually open those floodgates. They do that, I think, once a year or once every other year or something like that to test them just to make sure that they are, are functioning. Um, but that's not what's going to happen today. And when I walk over there, I'll show you, um, I'll show you what, what they do. With on, the other side of these on the other side of these trees here, there's a set of turbines. And they let the water run through the turbines. And uh, that's what generates the energy. So uh, the horn is sounded um, and they should be starting to release that water here any second. And I will, I will stay down here just a little bit so that I can, you can see the water starting to rise um, out of here. You see all these little kind of like potholes. This one's empty. But you see all these little potholes in here that are filled with, you know, green, like kind of an algae. They're kind of cool, actually. They're uh, just little pools, almost like vernal pools in a way. Right here. So after they let the water out, this actually, this river right here that you see, the river that we're on, this is actually the beginning of the Savannah River. This, uh... This is in Hartwell, Georgia, is where we are. We're in Hartwell, Georgia, and we're quite a ways from the coast, but this river runs actually all the way down through Savannah, Georgia, and then I believe in Savannah, it empties into the ocean right there, into the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Um, but yeah, this is a, I mean, this is a really, it's a really nice river, and it's fed by Lake Hartwell. It's fed through this dam. I'm sure that there's other, you know, 
streams and stuff that dump into it along the way. I mean, it, that's obvious, but this is the beginning of it anyway. And, uh, you know, a good I guess a good portion of the water, some of the water anyway, comes from Lake Hartwell right here. So the water is coming. You could see it here and you could see it over there. It's starting to fill up the pools here. Um, but you could see it actually rushing in and within a few minutes or so, um, it will be up above these, uh, these rocks here. And eventually these rocks will be, uh, underwater. You can start to see the water. The water is starting to rush in here and it's filling up. You can see it's filling up these pools right here. It looks like it's best coming in right there. And it's starting to come in here and flow into these here. And <laughs> you can see the water flowing in right here and it's, uh, it's flowing this direction. And soon that dirt, because that's where, we, where I get out right there. And you can see there's kind of like a dirt uh, shoreline right there. That'll all start to become underwater. And in fact, it'll get <clears throat> pretty high up to uh, the exit there. I'm keeping an eye on that shoreline. Um, once it starts to get a little bit further under, um, I'm going to head back. I don't want to be wading in water out here, but I do want to, uh, I do want to hold off just a little bit, just to watch it rise a bit more. Yeah, the water level, even though you can still see, you know, obviously quite a bit of the rock isn't underwater yet. Um, it's starting to raise up here back by the shoreline. So I'm going to play it safe and get back here onto this rock so I'm not caught out there because eventually it'll start to rise around the rocks to where, you know, I won't be able to easily walk um, back in without getting my feet wet. And I'm trying to avoid getting my feet wet. And you heard me slip when I was, <laughs> when I was starting the video. That's where I came in. Um, and it's a little wet. You normally, uh, last couple of times I've been here, it hasn't been quite that wet, um, but it's, it, it's wet right there. Eventually that will also be underwater. You can see right out there, now that the rocks are starting to cover, uh, become covered, the water's flowing a lot more easily into this area. You actually hear, I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but I can hear, you know, the rush of water coming in right there. hear it rushing in over there pretty good when I first came down here you saw how you could easily walk across those rocks and you can remember I was showing you that you could basically walk all the way across the uh, the river there that's all gone you're not gonna be able to do that anymore um, until probably tomorrow because I think they generate energy until about 8 o'clock tonight so water is gonna be coming out of that dam until uh, for the next several hours but yeah, <laughs> this is cool. This is where, you know, you can really start to see the difference. So the water's coming in and um, all those rocks are just disappearing before my eyes. And they're virtually gone over there. And just, you know, just a matter of, uh, of minutes. It's starting to fill up here. You could see now, you could see it's coming up pretty quickly. This truck's starting to disappear, so it's only gonna be, it's only gonna be another minute or so before I need to get out of here. That's what that horn sound, that horn that was going off a few minutes ago, that was the warning to let, to let everybody know, get the heck off of the river as soon as possible. But you know, it's not this huge rush that comes in and will just sweep you away. But you know, if you're out there and you don't realize what's happening, you could easily get caught up in this and you're gonna end up swimming back.
That is so cool. I love this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the water. I got to get out of here. All right. That about... I almost... I turned around for one minute. And uh, that water started coming in. Crap. I'm hoping these... Hang on. All right. There we go. All right. Good. Because <laughs> look. Right there. That, that rock you see is starting to go into the... I was just standing there just a moment ago. And now... Um, it's coming into this area here. I mean, that literally was about two feet round right there, not even 30 seconds ago, and now it's completely submerged. Let's see if I can get a better view over here. Not really. These trees are in the way, but you get the point. Oh. Now those rocks, I'll raise it up here, are all but virtually gone. They're pretty much submerged underwater now. This has raised right here in the past minute, maybe minute and a half. It's probably raised about four or five inches. So this water, I mean, even though I said it's not this dramatic, huge gush of water that comes in, it comes in fast enough to, um, to get up on top of you if you're not paying attention. So I left the rocks, which are now completely underwater, and I'm headed over to this observation deck that's over here. Um, it walks out over to where the turbines are. You can get a better look at the turbines, and we'll see what we see uh, when we get over there. That water's coming out pretty quickly. Now it's flowing real quick out of there. Yeah, didn't look like this at all 20 minutes ago. It's a Hartwell U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. These here, you can see these five turbines here. And the water is rushing through. I don't know if it's rushing through all four or all five of them. It looks like they might just be hitting these two right here because you see the water is coming from that right there. You can see the white, you know frothiness of it right here but you don't see it on that side plus you see water coming out of these these kind of spouts on the side here but you don't see them on the other three maybe a little bit on the third on the fifth one but uh, it looks like wow that water's coming out fast and so just a few minutes ago there was nothing flowing from here at all it was just calm water now it's this mad rush and you can see down there all of those rocks are completely submerged they're gone I really like this. This is cool. We come down here and meet Chris, and we're with Andrew today. There's some folks out here fishing. This water's rising pretty quickly, or it's coming out of there, I should say, quickly. I think it's, Andrew was just saying, I think it's, uh, risen about as far as it's going to go it's come up about four four and a half feet yeah at least at least because i was looking at one of the rocks that was down there and it had to be three and a half feet out of the water well i mean we, we've only been standing right here for about four or five minutes and that, that rock line was there i just looked at it and it was still three and a half feet above the, the water line now it's completely submerged so i mean it, it's four feet has happened very quickly yeah, it's happened probably within, well, I think they started, they first started letting the water out about 20 to, a little, 20 to 12, and it's 12.15 now, so about 35 minutes it's been going. At 12.01, you look at your clock at 12.01 when we heard that other tone, and that's when it, yeah. it really started pushing, but then it was, one. it was like, what, another five minutes later, it was a second tone, and that's when this turbulence started. Yeah. You know, and that, that's when it really started coming up. But yeah. Judging by that that pole, I think this is where it sustains at. I, don't, I really don't think it comes much higher than this. So we need to find out when they do that. Yeah, one. when they do the emergency. they they only do that one. I think either once a year or once every other year. Well, and they, they only they coming? only do it to test it just to make sure it works. Be neat to see though. I, I'd be standing right against that wall under it. You know, it, it ramps off and it'll, <laughs> it'll, it'll shoot the water probably out there through that hole. It, it'll ramp over, so you could get under that 
and be okay for a short period of time yeah. before enough water started filling this up. So you could slide down. down. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you can see the turbines here, and then once the water is running through that, it generates the energy. And it looks like you could see the, the energy lines or the power lines coming out of the top of it. There's three of them on each one. On these scaffolding things here, there's three of them, and then they run that electricity runs up to these power lines here heads that way and then right on the other side of this levee is the power is the power plant so that's where all the energy goes and um, and then it's distributed out to wherever you know whoever's getting the energy probably the residents in the area businesses and stuff like that in the area but uh, it's kind of cool because I mean that energy is just all generated right here water powered that's a really uh, it's a really efficient way to uh, create energy. Just let the water do it for you. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So the way this thing works is that uh, there's a number, a phone number that you can call. Because they let the water out, uh, or they generate energy as they call it. They generate energy at different times each day. So if you um, call the phone, if you decide to come out here and you want to you know, check this out and watch these rocks disappear and watch that water come tearing out of that those turbines right there um, you call this number and I'll put the the number down below here but you call this number and then they'll tell you what times that they are generating energy and at first it's a little confusing because it'll say well, well we're gonna generate energy between 1 o'clock and say after dark and at first I thought well does that mean I have to come out here at 1 o'clock and just wait for them to do this now what that means is that they're going to sound that horn at one o'clock and they're going to start letting the water out at one o'clock and they will let this water out of that dam um, from the time it starts from one o'clock to whenever they decide to shut it off which today they said was going to be uh the <laughs> to quote them they said well after dark so um so just listen to what it says and whatever time is the earliest time that they say from say one to nine or three to eight or whatever plan on being here uh, just a little bit before that time uh, we did get here we were running a little bit late today we did get here about 20 minutes before um, but as soon as as soon as we got out of the car and I walked down there you heard that horn going off and uh, that's when the water started coming and apparently from what because Andrew and Chris were were down here at this observation thing the whole time they didn't go down there in the rocks and they said that the initial um, horn the one that we heard they were letting the water out, but they were letting out slowly. And then um, about 20 minutes later, right at noon, when they said they were going to start it, they sounded another shorter horn. I didn't hear that one, but apparently they sounded another shorter horn. And then that's when it started just rushing out of there. And that's when we were down there. You could see that water line just literally watch it starting to rise. Um, that's when the big, they did start it actually literally right on time. They said noon and they started it right at noon. So you're not waiting around, which is which is kind of cool. It tells you when to be here. This is actually a neat little part too, because um, you know there's people down here fishing. Uh, there are picnic tables. I believe there are campsites down here too, if you want to do a little bit of camping, and um, you know places to park. There's bathrooms, um, so you could actually come down here and actually spend a good part of the day doing you know just spending time with the family. There's places to sit, places to picnic you know, fishing. You can go down there on that rocks when on those rocks when it's not uh, and kind of wander around out there. That's that's really cool. Um, and this bathroom's here too. <laughs> I like this place. So right here is where I, I came out a little while ago. I stepped on those roots and it was about at least another foot and a half down. And then right out there was that rock. That's got to be a good um, two and a half, three feet underwater now. And that was about, you know, maybe 20, 25, 20 minutes ago or so. So now you can't really see through these bushes here, but all the rocks are gone. They're completely submerged now. So you can see the river down there. You can see the dam right here. And then these kind of trees are in the way, but you could see the, uh, the turbines right over there. And this is where the power comes. So all of that power, we were looking at it from the other, the other side there, but you can see the power lines coming in here, in here, coming in here. I don't, you know, I don't pretend to know anything about electricity, but um, 
apparently this is where all that electricity comes in and it looks like from here it's being shipped out to whoever gets it so we left the area where you could see the water coming in down by the dam there and just drove across the bridge to the other side of the river and uh, this here is Lake Hartwell it's a huge it's a huge lake I mean, it goes, the, you can't even see, this isn't even, this is just a small portion of it. It's just a huge, huge, huge lake. But this is the lake, or it's actually a, a reservoir that, uh, it's a man-made lake, I should say. That's, that's a more accurate way of putting it. It's a man-made lake, obviously, because there's a dam here. Um, but on this side, you can actually get up and get up on top of the, uh, look on top of the dam. I can't speak today. You can get up on top of the dam and look down. So we're gonna come over here and uh, look down from uh, down to where we were earlier. We're walking along the top of the dam here. Doesn't look like you can get all the way across. It's, it's fenced off right here. So you can't walk completely across the dam, but you can get, get a little ways onto it anyway. You can see those turbines down there and it looks like there's they're letting water out from the turbines on this side now we did hear another horn going off as we were leaving the parking lot so that must have been signaling that they were gonna turn on a few more of those turbines because now it looks like it's coming out of all of them uh whoa holy moly yeah that's a ways down Woo. me and heights aren't friends my legs are getting a little a little wobbly looking down over the side here and you see all the way down does it go straight down yeah, yeah the water level is right here oh yeah